p.m. And welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Kimball's Corner. So if you read the thing, so Rocky and I, we, we've been, you know, we've been going to different... Uh, no, 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 no. I uh, struggle no, 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 enough no. with talking, and you distract me so much. <laughs> Let me just explain, lest we forget. So anyway, Rocky and I have been going around town, and like our town, villages, the city, all sorts of different places. England. And we keep, we keep seeing the lust we forget, and we kind of feared it had to do with um, armed forces, war, that kind of thing. Um, so yes, we have learned a bit more about it. I wrote it in the description. You can Google it. I am afraid to say the wrong thing about it, but yay poppies. So now when I think of a poppy flower, my mind automatically goes to Ozma. So that's going to be the influence for today. It's not going to actually be Ozma from Wizard of Oz, but she does wear poppies in her hair. And uh, yeah, so that's, that's where I'm going with this. That's the vibe. And also, wouldn't you know it, Jane had some older stamps called Poppy Girl, and there's a poppy flower, so I can use a stamp. I, was, I thought you were going to say it's the one stamp that you couldn't find. That was oh my God, no. <laughs> And then I thought about using that one. It's not a poppy, but I, I was like, I could pull it off, but I don't think I need a multiple, like, tiny size. So I'll probably just use a big one. I already put it here because I wanted to test on the watercolor paper because it's textured, so it may not lay down so great. Doesn't matter. I really just need, like, the idea of it because then I'll use colored pencils and whatnot to really make it pop. Um, I'm going to splatter some red uh, Frida Incredible ink on that page, just in the corners because I want to do the poppy up in her hair. And... I'm working off this photo, so I know her head's going to be down here somewhere. So I'll try and keep the red up there and not get red on her face. Because that usually doesn't turn out. It always ends up looking like a bloody nose or something. So, Well, you have Jenna, FNAF, Bonnie, 1233. Bon bon. um, Cheryl, all saying hi. Oh, hey, Cheryl. Hey, everybody. Oh, my goodness. It's a body. Cheryl says good morning. Well, good morning to you over there on the West Coast of the States. <laughs> um, also, I was going to be using... The, okay, does anybody know? Did they stay with Prima Marketing? Did they change it to Art Philosophy? What What is the deal with these? Anyway, these are older ones, so I don't know if the packaging is any different. Time out. Isn't Cheryl from Australia? Cheryl, where are you from? Where are you from, Cheryl? She's from Oregon. Oh, Oregon. Hi, Cheryl. Unless I'm wrong. I don't know. Correct well, me. I don't, I don't Cheryl, let us know. You're either from Oregon or Australia, one of the two. You're from planet Earth, I hope. Well, <laughs> we all share that. We never Oregon. really know. Um. Anyway, so these are the classics, and I just, I really like that Oregon. red. Oregon. See? Yep, yep. Yeah, she lived somewhat close where we used to live. Okay. And then I also pulled out the decadent pies because I like some of these darker, like medium to dark skin tones. We'll see where it goes. I'm not sure. It might like get too red. And so I'll probably stick with like an orangey to the left. Maybe just that one. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to make it up as we go, people. That's what we do here. Putting this aside though, I also have the JD one, obviously, because I use the Mystic Purple in that one for my shading because it's such a good color for shading. Lovely. Trisha says, hi, everyone. Hi, Trish. Okay. Hope you guys are all having a fabulous week. Kimball, could we talk about the snacks, please? I, if you would just shut your okay. beautiful <laughs> mouth. I was going to set these aside. Oh, wait. Also, I am using squid ink. I forgot to mention that in the supplies list. But obviously, I need some, like, stampy ink to stamp. So, we went to Covent Garden. Which is in England, in London. Yeah. Well, okay. actually went, like, lots of places. But we ended up there, because why wouldn't we? We wanted to check out some of the Christmas decor. And we are just walking around, getting our steps in. And we came to Hotel Chocolat. Actually, we didn't come to it. We saw it off in the distance. And we're like, clearly we need to take a beeline and go straight for Hotel Chocolate. Chocolat. Chocolat. Um, and it had been recommended. I can't remember who, but obviously we were going to make our way there eventually. You know us. Chocolate. Hello. Um, so we got peanut butter, caramel, hopefully not them broccoli fart caramels, because those were like, so oh hot God, awful. So gross. And then we got the white collection, which is a blondie, a strawberry cheesecake, and eaten mess. So yes. I have not had the eaten mess. Sounds delish. Right. So these will be had by us. Exactly. And obviously we have our coffees. I have stalled and oh. Oh. It's, okay. Kimball's just I'm... having a freak out moment. Or is the computer? Because the screen's turning black. You don't have to worry about that. Hey, there's my hand. All right. So going to Perspritz with some of my Otis bottle water. I hope I don't get it on the mic. So I want red up there. And you know what? I'll just, if I want to give her a necklace or a dangly earring or something with it, I will, like with the flower, I will just color that in with color pencils later. Mm. But you know how I like my reds and my splats. Not my reds, but the splatting of the inks. 
Okay, well, more importantly, which of the treats? I think we should Peanut go with butter. penguin. Penguin. Okay, fine. I'm going to open this with my back to the camera so it's not so loud. Doing real good. All right, perfect. Oh, it has an easy tear for easy access. All right, and then I'm not sure. Always in for easy access. Here you go, Kimball. Peanut butter. I love the peanut butter. So I'm just going to kind of crush much that around while I eat this delicious peanut butter chocolate. Wait, we have to eat it at the same time. I'm always doing that. Mmm. It's quite a mouthful. Well, you're probably not meant to eat it all in one go, but... <laughs> okay. I know, right? Mmm. I kind of want to smush the book, but... I'm getting very close to being done with this journal. Oh, my. That's exciting. Dabbing up the bits. I don't need too much color down here. I can also spread it around. I do what I want. By the way, our internet mm, was being like really weird earlier. So it was going very slow. So if it starts to glitch or go slow, it's probably just because there's some kind of neighborhood internet thing happening. But hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully. Although I did restart my phone and it seemed to help. Was your phone, was your internet acting up? Possibly. How, how would you not know? You live on the TikToks. I was taking a shower and working out. I was taking a shower. <laughs> all right, now I'm going to eat a penguin. That, all right. It's the only kind of penguin I'm going to eat. Oh, okay. What kind is this? Caramel? Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Nothing much nicer caramel. Mm. That does not smell like broccoli farts. Mm -mm. All right. We're going to stick with the red theme. So I'm going to draw her out. Ooh. Yeah, I'll do the, I'll do the stamp later because I want to draw her. And it's easier to draw the face and then place the stamp rather than place the stamp enough to like draw the face to fit it. I think anyway. Hmm. FNF Bonnie says, I remember making Victoria sponge cake and catering. Mm. After making it, though, I got sick of the smell. Did you say Victoria sponge cake earlier? No, but we had it at we sure Waterstones. Did. That's why I was like, wait, did, should we, did we talk about it? Yeah, mm. we actually just had that um, at, the, at a bookstore called Waterstones, which was a huge bookstore, by the way. It reminded me of Barnes & Noble in the States. So if you're from the States, just think of like a multi-level Barnes & Think of like if Barnes & Noble and Powell's in Portland had a baby. If you don't know what Powell's is... It's, it's the eight. largest bookstore in the world. I don't even know if it's still open, which makes me it, sad. It, it but is. Is it? Are we sure? Come on now. Cheryl, let us know. Um, <laughs> and it's just a giant bookstore. So the, it, I don't even know how many, eight or nine stories. It's huge. I think it's like six, but it has, when it comes to like how many books and aisles and stuff, it's the biggest in the world. Like it's like eight point something miles long of books or something. I don't know. My God. So it may so not be like the largest, now. may not be the largest footprint, but when it comes to like the amount of books that are in there, I think it's, I think it's the largest. Again, I make stuff up. Amanda Ryan says, hi, Kimball and Rocky. Love the hi. passion for this video. Um, oh, I forgot to mention when Rocky was on about the Egyptian theme in Herod's. Very interesting. Google, I read about it. Oh. I feel like I should read about it now. I want to Google Herod's. Well, I had to Google other things. So you do it and you tell me. Trisha just had a Bakewell tart, which is um, an almost almond, almond pastry. Delicious. Mm. We had mince pies earlier because I thought, why am I not having a mince pie? To me, it is a <laughs> fig Newton. What? How, how did I describe it? In like a juicy fig Newton or something? No, um, plump, delicious. Oh my god! What did I say about it? It tastes like a fig Newton. I think it's a just a wee bit better than a figgy, but whatever. I don't know what's wrong with me. I cannot remember. There was something very specific about the flavor. Whatever. It tastes like a weird fig Newton. Mm, I thought it was good. F. Nepani says, please forgive me for being absent for a while. College was caught up to me. Or college has caught up to me. It's been very busy the past few weeks. No need to apologize. You do you, boo. Right. You get that education. Um, Trisha asked, if, did you enjoy the mince pies? I did. Um, it was quite, I mean, I've had two and I'm probably going to have another one after this. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll save it for breakfast. I liked it. It was good. Yes, I enjoyed it. It's my first mince pie. I think I was always just kind of put off by it because like 
I was saying convince me, but you know, yeah. I know it's like mince free, whatever. I but. think it just reminded me of like it had cinnamon in it. So it reminded me of like if you dipped a fig newton in cinnamon and ate it and it was juicier. <laughs> juicy, <laughs> juicy. Like, and then it went on holiday to the Cayman like, Islands and then came back with a tan. Okay. Um, <laughs> um Andrea says, Hi Kim on Rocky, and Hi. everyone. And everyone says Hello. I'm trying to think if I missed any comments here. Sorry, I'm going back a little bit. Trisha says hotel chocolate's one of her favorites. Mm. I don't know if I said that, but we'll eat one for you. Okay, so the next one so we have eyes, is from the White Collection. I don't know her why. Her eyes are like really weird looking because I thought these lashes would lashes would be a lot lower, but they look really high on that eye. So that's weird, and I drew them weird. And I know. Weird. Here, have that. Wait, which one are we doing first? I don't care. We'll do the, this. Is probably the strawberry. One. Okay. Mm -hmm. Were you right? Mm -hmm. I was just thinking I should probably lay off the sweets and lose a little bit of weight, but no, this works too. Mm -hmm. That's really tasty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, though. I had the mocha from there. Obviously, I added the whipped cream. That is like a meal into itself. That took me a while. The whipped cream was like an impenetrable wall <laughs> keeping Kimball from his latte. Mm -hmm. It was very good, though. What else was interesting? Me. When we went out. Oh, look at the list, Kimball. Mm -hmm. Don't touch it. You just go to it too fast. Oh, this past week, I helped Rocky build some cabinets. Oh, yes. Talk about the kitchen. It was a very busy week, so we're building a production studio. And part of that has to do with, it's all food related. So the so space awesome. was empty and we had to build a kitchen and all this. So the budget's small. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So in order to get it done, basically I had to like design and buy and build all the kitchen elements and then I'm getting help installing it. So I had all the boxes delivered. Kimball, I drug Kimball in, I think it was Monday or Tuesday. Yeah, I went Tuesday and Thursday. And we basically built all the cabinet shelves um, and the drawers. And um, it's all sitting now in the space. The flooring is all done. I'm very excited because it's it's in a stage now where things are moving very quickly and things are coming together. Come together. I think I had mentioned last week, too, that I had designed some... The posters, posters. yeah. Posters. I don't know if I didn't. Did I mention that on the live? Yeah, because you're like, hey, everyone, I designed these posters. I'll show you some other time. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Once I get, I still have a couple more to make. Once I get them done, I will share with you guys. But um, yeah, so I just very excited. And it was cool to have Kimball there to build them all too. Because now when I'm in the studio working, every time I open a drawer or look at a cabinet, I'll be like, Kimball helped me make that. Oh, that's when Kimball complained about something. <laughs> oh, Kimball had a paper cut when he was trying to open oh up Oh my God, so many. Well, that's not a paper cut. That's a cardboard burn. I was pulling like a thing out of the cardboard. And it's all whoop and like just burned my skin off. It was gross. What did you learn? Here, have a caramel. Not to help Rocky. Mm. Yeah, sneak. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got it. The okay. hell is wrong with it? I just wanted to get it out. Uh -huh. Demon out. Mm. All right. Well, I was gonna do huge, um, you know, Osmo poppies, but I think I was do like a little cluster of three. <laughs> Amanda asks, "Have you both tried lint chocolates? I love them. Oh, well. I first tried them years ago when my grandma bought me some. Let us tell you a story, Amanda." So back when we were like in our early 20s, we were living in Canyon Country, California, and we had this little like, whatever, we were staying in an apartment. Campbell for the holidays was like, let's buy, how how much was it? It was 90. 90 what? Of them. It was a couple pounds, basically, of lint chocolate truffles, and we kept them in a cooler in our bedroom, and we went through them all in the holiday season, and I think we both put on, I don't even know how many pounds. I mean. Because we forgot that, you know, things have calories. Yeah. And oh, we wait. don't regret a single one we ate. No, nope. Rocky was like, how are these going to be in a milkshake? <laughs> <laughs> how are they in a chicken dish? Mm. All right. So got that. I was not going for perfect stamps. Don't judge. Cheryl just, has to run. Bye, Cheryl. Bye, Cheryl. Have a good time doing whatever you're going to do. Um, I did not want to do perfect stamps because I'm going to do colored pencil and kind of just color it in. I really want those to stand out more than anything else. So other than the line work being pencil, this is going to be all watercolor. The background, I'll probably do like a really dark color because then this would be like, oh my God, it's like Inception. So like this will all be red, right? She can have red hair and it's going to be dark around it, but it'll be like the opposite. Whereas like these are bright red. 
you know, no, I don't want to do that. Nope, the Inception thing's gone. It's anti-Inception. See, what I should do is give her dark hair and then make this red so she's like a poppy herself. So like <gasps> the center, like, and then these can be bright red. So this will be dark. This one you know doing. what that deserves, Kimball? An applause. Or chocolate. Or chocolate. Here you go, thanks. You just don't like me talking. No, I just want to eat one with you. If you eat one, I eat one. But like, I can't... I'm going to be like on a sugar high and we're like five minutes in. <laughs> You're fine. I'm right. I'm still fine. Missy says, hello, lovelies. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, Missy and everyone. Hope you guys had a fabulous week. I'm going to just fix up these lines a bit so I don't lose them when I do my watercolors. And I like to do chunkier lines and I'm going to do... um. Like, that's how I like to separate them. So this front one, the border of it is going to be a little bit chunkier. Mm -hmm. It is really beautiful, though, because all the local businesses around town have little donation containers so people can donate for the less we forget. And then all the different churches around here and some different places were basically holding memorials all day today. So it was really, really nice to just be out and see that happening. On our like fifth journey to Ikea. Yeah, well. If you could just stop forgetting what you're getting. I wasn't forgetting it, so it wasn't ready yet. Can anybody else get really annoyed when everyone's like on a walking path in like an aisle in a store or something or a mall or whatever. And then like some like two or three people just stop and start chatting right in the center of the aisle. Like anybody else just want to like? No, I them? think everyone loves that. I think that's I mean, their favorite. Some people are like, "Yeah, join the conversation," but I'm like, "No, I'm going to hold off for just a second. You eat one, tell me how it is. Okay. You, I'm sorry, was that your butt? <laughs> like, what? Oh, you maybe just sat back. Oh, wait. Mm. Seventeen came out with a new song called "Dream." It's the Japanese release. Loved it. It's very nice. Parts Family Art says, "OMG, Kimball Rocky High." Oh, hey, hey, hey. And how's it going? Oh, what else have we... Oh, God. Rocky's shampoo. I just threw that on the end of the list because I walked upstairs and got gagged. <laughs> I was like, what's going on? It's a coal tar shampoo. Yeah, that's what mm -mm, we're calling it. Mm -mm, oh, my God. so nummy. I was like, oh, what is this? I love getting older. Absolute garbage. Skin issues? Sign me up. I know, right? So this is a black cherry. Oh, that color that I used to do the outline was carmine red. PC926, if you care. And then this is the Black Cherry PC 1070. Black Cherry 1070. 1070. I really don't know what a poppy looks like, and I'm too lazy to look it up. But I think they're dark in the center and light near the edges. Here, I'll give you an assist, Kimball, one second. I'm just doing this so I don't forget when I start drawing or start painting. I do want to outline some of these. Here you go. That's not the right one. What did I use? Did I use this one? That's a poppy right there. That's the most accurate I could find. It's that's, like a that's piece like of toast the, with a burn in the middle. That's like all the sticker or the, yeah. the stickers with the what are they called? Pins and buttons and all the little things that you see around town. Here is here are some poppies for you. Poppies. Image credit to someone on Amazon. Okay, well I'll just they look pretty basic compared to this. So visit the scone store. The scone store. Anyway, not getting precious with the dark interior. Is there anything light in the middle? Yes, there can be. It is this. Here's some various illustrator ah, so, okay. images. So, I because I was like, there's light. On I the don't middle. know if they're always there though. I think they might just be. Well, on these particular stampity stamps that I used, mm. there is. It almost looks like a dandelion part, like the, before it opens up. I'm just going to add a little yellow in there. Or like a, you know, whatever this is. Cadmium orange hue. PC118. Hue. Hugh Jackson. All right. Hugh Jackman? Hugh Jackman. Men. Jackman. Okay, you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> How was your, that thing? It was great. You Let want me, one? Yeah. Was okay. that the, is it the Eaton Mess? I don't know. Maybe. Eaton Mess. What is it? I don't know what Eaton Isn't Mess Eaton is. Isn't Eaton the college? I'm going to look it up because I keep seeing it everywhere and I have no idea what it means. Eaton Mess. 
Eaton mess is a traditional English dessert consisting of a mixture of strawberries and other berries, meringue, and whipped cream. I'm mm. in. Mm -hmm. First mentioned print. Oh, sorry. First met. First you got mentioned. In print in 1893, it is commonly believed to originate from Eton College and has served oh. at the annual cricket match against the pupils of Harrow School. Now it's all making sense. I mean, that's the best excuse to go to a sports event I've heard. All right, so I'm going to do her hair really dark. Don't Why do like... they call it Eton Mess? Because it's a mess. Probably. Oh, Eton, Eton College is an College. elite English boarding school. Okay, so I'm going to do... Maybe some pecan. It was a common oh. sight at the school's tuck shop, which just makes me kind of amused because I'm glad they were doing that back then. Moving on. Stop your tuck talk. Okay, go ahead. Thanks um, for coming to my tuck talk. Okay. It was funnier when I was alluding to it. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to just do her hair like the darker reddish brown colors. And because I want to do my little inception thingy, which no one will ever get except for you fine folk. FNAF Bonnie says, I'm going to post this comment in an act of respect for both my dad and my um, catering teacher as they both fought in the army. I'm mm. so grateful for them fighting for the UK. Oh. We are too. Thank you very much for posting that. <sighs> uh, I just wore, I don't understand. I don't understand. I think we're lucky that we don't have to, had, we did not have to go through that. Yeah. I just, I don't know. But we feel very grateful that for those who did fight for us and our freedoms. That is true. My grandfather used to tell me so many stories because he was in the Navy um, during the war. And oh my gosh. <laughs> my dad was in the Navy. Yeah, it's wow. It was intense. There was a, he just posted a picture. It was a magazine article and on the cover was his ship that like the ship that he was on. It wasn't his ship, but the ship that he was on. And it was like at that time. And I was like, that's very strange. That's really cool. I need to darken up a lot around the flowers. Can I catch up on comments? I used to really not like these paints, but they're actually quite nice on watercolor paper. I was using them a lot on mixed media paper, which they I don't like. They lift way too easy on mixed media paper. So if you ever want to try them, just know that. Or at least that's my opinion, experience with them. Amanda says, I've just bought some Mungyo watercolors, Kimball. Apparently, they're supposed to have good light, fast quality, and high pigment. We'll let you know how they layer. Ooh, thank you. I'm not too concerned about um, light, fast. I mean, I am if I'm actually doing a painting that I'm going to hang up. But most of my work is in journals. So, like, the light, fast doesn't normally matter. But it is good to know which ones I can and can't use for actual, like, pieces that I want to hang up. Pieces of you. Okay. You just stay over there, mister. I'm going to add some pistachio cream. In. Ooh, that sounds delicious. Although this looks metallic, but I want to add some yellowy bits into the hair just to have a little more variety of color. All these little strands I'll probably do with pencil later because I'm going to paint her face and I don't want to like blur them all out and make it all weird. Debbie Matthews says, yes, I made it to the live stream. What paints are we using? Yeah, girl. Oh, we are using art philosophy slash Prima marketing. I'm not sure which they're what they're going by now. But um, the classics and decadent pies, and I do have oh my Jane Davenport bright palette. Not sure yet if I'm going to use it. I think I will because the purple's in it, but I might not use it because I might keep all warm tones on the page. Genesis pistachio cream sounds like it would be a good top wrong coffee. Agreed. Oh god, it probably would be. All right, now let's do the bright red. Actually, no, let's paint her face first, and then we'll do the background after. Unless I forget, I forget to do a lot of things. So. Skin tones. Let's move this just to there so I have a little connection. I guess I can mix it in below. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Take some of that and banana cream, maybe. Tone it down. It looks very bright. Add some water to it because I don't know. I want it to go on pretty translucent for the first pass. Let me dry this a little, just the edge of her hairline so it's a little less blurry ishness. It'll tend to, whatever, you know, it's not going to blur as much as if it's a little dry. I think I'm done with the chocolates for tonight. Do you want me to compile these into one little container? Yeah, we can save those for later. It'd be a fun little treat. All right. Just put a nice thin layer on. Oh, 
Goodbye, assorted chocolates. I'll miss you most of all. <laughs> I keep trying to pick it in the trash, but only only that one. Okay. I don't... I'm have to pick that up later. Okay. Let's add a little of the apple to the color for down here. That was a little more than I wanted to add. What else is on your list, Kimball? That's pretty much it. What else can we talk about? I mean, what else is there to talk about, really? I don't know. It's too far away. I can't read it from, from this angle. We went back to London. We did stuff there. And uh, that's all I got. Where's my rep? Listen. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. Well, that's not fun. We've already talked about everything. Although I do like the fact that you were like, Rocky shampoo. Well. And you posted that little image. Because I didn't want to forget how much it stank. Uh, it was awful. Just using that same color I used down below for the shading. Because why not? And the lighting is a little strange. Like there's multiple lights. Oh no, maybe they're on. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I'm just making excuses for not knowing how to paint shapes. FNF Bonnie says, ooh, I got an art video idea. Why don't you guys go around the UK and find cheap art supplies? There isn't much. <laughs> um, as you did in the one in America, because we really don't have the same stuff. Yeah. Um, <laughs> you don't. And if you got anywhere to go. Poundland, I... Campbell, Poundland Art Hall. <sighs> no, I don't want to buy cheap art supplies that I'm not going to use. I had thought about it, but I still have cheap art supplies from like the last kind of thing that we did. And what I just, a waste. I'm just, you know, I don't really use them. So why don't you just shut down all of FNAF Bonnie's ideas then? Well, I could donate. But exactly. So I now you're thinking. Uh, but I don't really have the money. Cost of living crisis and all that. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah. It's, I, it's pound man. Because you could where things used to be a pound. <laughs> According to Mr. Carrington. Do you remember Hong's discount store or 99 cent store? Yes. In America, we had a, I don't even know if it was like on the East Coast or if it was just in Idaho. I'm not sure, but we used to have one called Honks. Did Jenna, did you guys have that in Texas? It was, uh, I mean, I liked it. I'm going to bring some of that purple in. I feel like it's getting very orangey. Trisha asks, did you see any of the Lord Mayor's show in London yesterday? What is Lord Mayor's? Is that something we should know about? <laughs> did we miss a cultural moment? I'm going to say yes. Yes, we did. What is this looking like? That'll work. Jenna says she's never heard of that before. Okay. Well, I'm not surprised. It may have just been an Idaho thing or like a West Coast thing. I mean, I've only ever seen the one that was by my house. Was... It may have been a one by your house thing. I mean, were there more in Idaho? I don't care anymore. Well, this conversation's gone <laughs> terribly. Um... Trying to remember where I mixed my colors. Have you had any interesting dreams lately? Me? And or... that's for Kimball and everyone out there that you care to share. What did I have a dream about the other night? Remember, it's a family channel. <laughs> if only. No, I had. What was it about? It was like moving or something. I don't remember. Was it anxiety dreams around everything that's happening? Mm, it wasn't really anxiety, but it was just like... Wasn't there one that was like, everything was annoying you or something? No, that was just living with you. Oh, okay, gotcha. That makes sense. Mm. That, that wasn't a dream. That was your real dream. Yeah, was a nightmare. I got a brush in my mouth. What was that? You get off for you. Amanda says, just wondering, my Jane Davenport Bright's palette is staining, but yours doesn't seem to be. Um, this palette? Is that the Brights palette? Like, to mean like it's staining your, your actual palette is staining, or? Or like. Or something else. When it drops on my clothing. It stains my emotions. You 
are ridiculous. John Stamos, what is he doing right now? Is he on another series? Yeah, he's on a Disney show. Isn't okay, he? I don't know. Am I up to date on the John Stamos? I don't know. You're asking about him, so you should. I just I said the most random thing that came into my head, and that was it. Anybody else have a big old crush on America's uncle? <laughs> just want to pick that up. It was looking a little too purple. I'm going to add a little more pinkiness to it. Trisha says, yes, it's an annual parade around the city of London. I think you might have noticed it if you'd seen it. Floats, costumes, pipe bands, oh. and lots more. We definitely did not see that. No. But I'm assuming it would have gone like near where we were, though. No, we saw the guy climbing through a racket, <laughs> a tennis racket. I was like, really? He was yelling so hard at one point. He 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 like keeled over halfway through yelling and trying to hype people up and like had to take like three deep breaths and like hold his chest. And then he came back up. I was like, oh man, someone give that guy some water. I was like, you need to calm down, sir. It's a whole bunch of people that aren't going to remember you the next day. That's not true. I remembered him. <laughs> Trish is all, what? <laughs> well there was that guy and the guy climbing the ladder okay that okay. was very entertaining the guy climbing the ladder i don't recall that one trish is a racket why i just told kimberly he was trying to make a racket <laughs> oh my god and he really was it was ridiculous <laughs> oh so stupid i was like what are you doing dude there's like 50 people sitting around watching you go on about a racket before you actually did anything and he's like and you're going to have to cheer really loud for me. The louder you cheer for me, the better this show is going to be. And I was like, oh, my God. If you have to tell your audience to cheer you on, like, what are you even? Kimball's in judgment mood right now. Always. Jenna says, was he a contortionist? Yeah, I mean, he was skinnier than when Rocky was, like, 15. That's pretty skinny. Can't say that about Rocky's body now, can I? No, I've had too many of these chocolates tonight. No, you definitely can't. cannot say that. Well, you've also beefed out. Uh, I don't know if that's the right way to say it. No. I've gotten older. My metabolism has slowed <laughs> down is what he means to say. You had a burger last night. I did. It was really good. So I haven't you... had a burger in so long. He didn't even remember like having the burger there the last time. I was like, dude, we just had a burger there I like a really month ago. I really convinced I did not have a burger there, but Whatever we're not going to bring that argument to YouTube, Kimball. Oh my God. Not for the fans. <laughs> Stop yelling at me. Um, believe gonna... it or not, Kimball and I actually do have a really good time most of the time. Most of, pretty much all the time. Yeah. Even when we were building crap. I had such a good time. I was telling Kimball because otherwise I would have been in there alone building by myself. And it's like, who wants that? No. And Kimball was very helpful. Thank you, Kimball. You're welcome. I do stuff. I told Kimball if I could like hire him in the studio like full time to just be there all the time, I would do that. But it's a conflict of interest, so it can't work out. And I told him, oh, that's so sweet. Let's never speak of this again. <laughs> Let's see. That's probably too pink. But what is too pink anyway? The cool thing about the studio is so it's in an old World War II listed uh, building that was an air traffic control tower for the um, runway that used to be there during World War II. And most of the people I work with don't even know that this is a thing. But yeah, there was a whole like airport right there. And when they closed the airport down, they turned the landing strip into a racetrack that lasted, I think, one season. And then I think the neighbors complained. And so they took that down. And then they basically... And it was incredibly successful. They could have made so much... They made a ton of money and it would have been super successful. But then like the people that lived there were like, no, we don't like this. Yeah. So they basically closed that down. And then they built, I think, houses um, up and down the runway and a business park and all that. I would just like everyone to know, to be aware that pistachio, guava, and possibly banana cream all have sparkly bits in it. Because there's like chunks of sparkly in her hair, which I don't love. But there it is. Well, there uh, you go. I was going to do red around Decadent pies. Face. Okay, let's bring this red. I'm going to rotate this so I can have an easier time painting around. Whoop. Excuse you. you do what not... if it just smeared the paint all the way across? <laughs> I'd be like, and now we're going to figure out how to work that in. That's a good sound. Good sound, Kimball. I know. <gasps> Look at that red. It looks not as red as I would like. You might have to layer. Well, I might add, well I'm going to... Add some oranges into it and others. Just like poppy colors, you know? Gotta layer it up. And I don't have to get too close to her face because I'm going to do um, CPs? Color, colored pencils. CPs? Yeah, CPs. 
which sounds just wrong somehow. It kind of does. Although it sounds medical. I like something in CCs. Ten CC start. Speaking of medical, Kimmel and I have no idea how insurance works here. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> We don't even know what hospital to go to if we get injured. I'm like the closest one. Just call an ambulance. There's a very fancy hospital nearby. Mm -hmm. uh, when you look at it, it looks like a university or something. I'm like, is it a hospital? Maybe they'll just turn us away. And I'm like, are we paying for our dentist thing? Like, it's just weird because in the States, when you have insurance, like, you just don't pay the dentist because it's covered by insurance. No, that you have to have dental insurance. Right. But like here, it's like you... I'm pretty sure it's the same. You pay, have to have dental insurance. Well, they do it differently. You have to pay for it, and then you contact your insurance, and they reimburse you, is what I was told. That's how our dentist works. I don't know. We don't know if like all the dentists work that way, or if maybe if you go to like an NHS dentist, it's different. We don't know. We're just very ignorant. Not ignorant. We're just... No, we are. We're ignorant. We don't know. I thought ignorant you didn't want to learn. Like, you didn't care. No, it just means you don't know. Ignorant. Let's look it up. We're just not... We're ignorant know. to the word ignorant. Maybe. <laughs> we're not sure. Ignorance. Lacking knowledge or awareness in general. Okay. Well, Uneducated or unsophisticated. Yeah, that describes that's us. That's you. <laughs> that's not me. Informal. Discourteous or rude. This ignorant pin brain receptionist. That was oh. the example. Wow. And the other example is he was told constantly he was ignorant and stupid. Hmm. I wonder if that's accurate. I mean, Just adding... it's Oxford Dictionary, okay? And Oxford's only like, what, 25 miles away? So, yeah. I'm going to add some orange. Ooh, what a pretty color. A beautiful Campbell. How can you not like orange? I mean, I get like some people like, ew, I hate orange because they instantly think of like, you know, the construction cones or something. But like, speaking of a nice warm orange. Oh, okay. Maybe that was part of the parade. When we were in, oh my gosh, <laughs> we were in London walking by some window. Is it very like high? I don't know. If it was we were like looking over Trafalgar Square. We walked by, um, anyway, we walked by a store and oh, there was a whatever. dress inside as one of oh. the main display pieces that was made from like, the orange fabric you would expect on a construction worker, but it was made into like a really fancy dress. I thought you were going to talk about the people wearing the construction cones on their head. Oh, that too. Because that makes more sense because we were talking about, you know, construction. But I get where you're going with that. Missy says, doesn't your employer supply private health insurance? Yes, and I do have that, but dental is not included. And if it and is, we haven't had we to go to the know. doctor yet, so. Thank God for that. Although we probably should just schedule and get a general practitioner, but we've been lazy and busy. Well, even then, I'm like, do we? Because when I went to the dentist, they're like, and so why are you here? And I was like, well, I, I just moved here. And she's like, uh-huh. I was like, well, I just wanted to get to know my dentist in case I have to come. Like, I wanted you to have, like, my records and stuff. Well, what? Is well, that not a thing here? Because in the U.S., like, every time we moved, I'm like, new dentist, got to go in right away. Well, but, and, and, like, an annual cleaning. Right. But yeah, so I just wanted to, like, I don't know, I guess introduce myself. And she was like, okay. I mean, they were really nice, though. Oh, yeah, I absolutely love them. But it was kind of, she was just kind of like, I, I guess, if that's why you're here, we'll, we'll do that. I was on a couple work calls, and people were like, oh, wow, you're, like, really looking English these days. And I was, like, <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell people were talking about. And it was because I was wearing, like, this cap that I've had for like, I don't even know, six years, seven years or something. And I, and then I finally was like, is it the cap? And they're like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. Well, well, there you go. I'm going to bring back my decadent pies. I want to add in some more hair strands and kind of like loosen things up. Oh, wait, do I want to darken up her face area first? I've hmm. also had a lot of people asking if we're going to pick up the accent to my, to which my answer is no, I no. hope not because there's no way I could do it justice. No, I I don't really think people pick up the accents. I'm going to, oh, that's the wrong color. I'm going to go in with this apple and layer over this red. I love that's the accent. I wish I could dark. do the accent, but I just can't. I just sound And it's not, stupid. I'm not at a time in my life where I'm going to be like, I want to take a couple hours a day to practice this accent. Oh my God, no. Like, I don't know if I would ever actually be able to nail it. Although I do hear like, it just sounds different. Uh, so many different people. Well, there's so many different dialects here. Yeah. 
So, you know, I could fake it and I could just be like, I'm from not where you are. We did. <laughs> we were getting checked out at Waitrose and the guy's like, are you guys from Australia? And I was like, no. I was very, yeah, he... He was very soft-spoken, so I couldn't hear quite what he was saying, but he's like, oh, I heard you say something. Pants. Oh. We said pants, and he was like, I know it's not, it's trousers trousers here. And I was like, yeah, we also uh, say chips instead of crisps. Yeah. He was really nice, though, from, was... from what I could hear him talking about. <laughs> it was one of those, like, moments where it's like, they were speaking really softly, and you could hear, like, maybe half of what they were saying, but you kind of just nod and, like, smile. And then the things you do here, you're like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, best friend. I didn't, it, I wasn't like motivated enough to be like, wait, I'm sorry, what? What was that? Can you repeat mm. the question? What? Especially since there was like three people waiting to check out. Yeah. Oh, well. Missy says you're too old to pick up the accents. You'll pick up slang into your vocabulary. Yeah. Just I'm, little bits and bobs here and there. Oh my God. I'm trying to just because I like it. But it, it just sounds phony coming out of like my American accent. No. No, Kimball. No. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> get out right now oh and then it's like awful because we used to watch miranda all the time in the states and so we would like say quotes from the show and now when i say it here i feel stupid because it's like i don't like people just look at me like oh okay you tried that was cute like what the hell are you doing because i would say well i would try and say it with an english accent when i would say it in the states so now here i'm like no no we don't we don't do that I'm going to just keep my little... And I'm like, I don't care. My little quotes to my fail. She looks like Natalie Portman. I think it's because of that. And she has like a little mole right there on her face. Does she? I don't know, but I'm saying it. Um. All right, back to the hair. Oh my God, we've been painting for six hours. Or uh, 41 minutes. I, I see no different. It's just... Well, I can probably bring the paints over to me. All right, just swoopy doops. Some, I love some swoopy doops. I love a good swoopy doop. Some bits into the hair, or yeah, some strands of hair here and there. Do you guys? So in your artwork, when you're like talking about it or thinking about it, do you have words that you make up as well? I'm sure. Blippy blops, swoopy doops. That's all I got. <laughs> I know Jane does. Mm. Missy says when I lived in England my American friends with children sorry when I lived in England my American friends with children their young children had English accents but the children that were university age didn't hmm. that makes sense yeah. kids are like little sponges just sucking up everything on your money <laughs> well I think about Chloe Rose because she's lived in the states since she was like 8 or 9 and she still has a British accent and Chloe Rose Chloe Rose Art on here I've talked about her before um, I like her channel but yeah she has never picked up like the American accent. She, although she might be there with her. Well, I don't know. Cause yeah, her mom would probably have a British accent. And my, and so my teacher at us, uh, you know, teach her how to talk. So my great grandmother was, um, she, she was in her thirties or forties when she moved to the States and she never lost her accent. But then my grandmother who moved to Canada when she was probably like nine, I think she lost her accent pretty quick. Grandma Jean, I can hear it in Jean's voice though sometimes. Just a little bit. It's like a weird amalgamation. Yeah. Not a weird, but like interesting. Just comes and goes. I when I worked at IKEA forever ago, someone was like, Are you from England? And I was like, No. And I sound like the most non-English person I've ever heard. <laughs> Sorry, I had a moment. I was taking a sip of my coffee and I thought there was like a big swirly hair in it. I was like, gross, but it wasn't. It was just the cream of the top stuff foaming around and it made a perfect circle it's funny though because we were um at work we met this guy named dave and uh we were telling him what I'll city we were telling him what city we lived in he's like oh my wife works at this salon literally right by our house i was like oh my gosh it was a salon that rocky tried to go to it was so funny we showed up because we didn't know we had to do it was like appointment only but we just didn't know that so we showed up at the door and it was locked but it said it was open and she was like in there i don't know if this was his wife but there was a woman in there and we were just like standing at the door like hey i like how i'm demonstrating for rocky and like you guys can see me but whatever yeah i feel like they probably picked up that practice during covid times probably all right it feels dry enough you want your paper to be nice and dry before you stop the colored pencils your hands are sweaty Okay. Do you know how many people have done that and like smeared my art and I'm like, I don't think we're friends anymore. Who who has done that? How many friends do you actually have? Rude. <laughs> That's because they touched my artwork and we're no longer friends. 
F now Bonnie says my girlfriend is Polish, but she lost a bit of her accent um, until she got on the phone with to her family, and then she fluently spoke Polish. <laughs> and my God, it was beautiful. Just, Pol Polish is a very beautiful just language. Just brings it all back. Oh, we were walking when we were down in London the other day. Like this woman's like, I read it in Polish. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, that's funny. I have no idea what she was reading. But... I have the pleasure of working with a lot of French and Polish people, and I just the accents are so incredible. The language itself is just beautiful to listen to. I think it's one of those, like, when you're just not familiar with it, everything seems more enticing. Like, every time we people are like, oh, where are you from? And we're like, oh, we're from America. They're like, why would you move here? I'm like, why not? They're like, we want to move to America. I'm like, no, you don't. Well, it depends on who you are. I know, but I'm just saying, it's, I think it's one of those, like, grass is always greener on the other side things. I mean, I'm realizing that there are a lot of things that I miss about the U.S., but I'm like, eh. But the thing is, it's, it's part like, about the experience. Like I'm loving my time here. Exactly. It's all about like new experiences. And I feel like when you hit a certain age or maybe just no matter how old you are, it doesn't matter, I guess. It's just cool to have different experiences. Yes, I agree fully. Like I can't imagine if I stayed, you know, like just didn't. I, I we feel did like our I'm not, time. I'm not the personality <laughs> that can stay in one place. Like I, I definitely respect people who can. But like I just for me, I'm just like so... I don't even know. I'm so like high strung. I have to like go out and do things all the time. It's true. He does. I drug Kimball with me every day. He's like, where are we going out to eat? And I'm like, I have gained 50 pounds. <laughs> like, what and do you I'm mean? Like, so this place, you're or... like, it doesn't affect me in any way. I haven't really gained 50 pounds. Calm down. Um, Missy says, sometimes I wonder if Southern accents in the USA will die out. So many Northerners and West coast people moved to Tennessee. AL. <laughs> etc um that you don't hear it anymore huh our friends we have friends well we have quite a few friends from texas missy uh, jenna says missy i used to get surprised from people um that i was from texas the response was usually you don't sound like you're from texas i was just gonna say like yeah jenna doesn't really sound like she's from texas but christy and joe definitely sound like they're from texas mm. well they are much older though yeah so true. i think it could be like older generation True. Well, it also depends on, like, your parents and stuff. Like, I mean, just because you're from Texas doesn't mean, like, your parents are from Texas, blah, blah, blah. I also feel like, aren't there different accents in different parts of Texas, too? You know, I, I don't know. I've only been to Austin. There was a lot of accents in Austin. I mean, there were a lot of different people in Austin. Mm. Austin, Texas, if you aren't familiar, is basically a city in Texas that is very big on live music. So I think a lot of people associate live music with, like, Nashville, Tennessee, which is also a very big music scene. But literally, if you go down in Austin, Texas, to the main street, every bar you walk by has a live band inside of it. And it, it's just bar after bar after bar of live music. It's a really cool place and where a lot of people got started there. up. There's a really popular venue there called Stubbs Barbecue. And basically, it's a, just an old restaurant that a lot of people got started up there. Like, it was the first place they played. And he used to bring people in who are new to get them exposure. Really cool. Like, I wish I was more of a fan of live music, but it's really hit and miss with me. Not not like the music itself, but just if it's too loud, my ears like go wonky. And I'm like, nope, can't, can't listen to it no matter how good it is. Jenna and says, yes, there are a lot of Texas accents. Um, if I'm talking to someone with more of a country accent, it will start coming out. <laughs> oh, I want to see Jenna talking in a country accent. It'd be quite amusing. I think that might be too yellow. Add a little orangey or red in there. You have 17 people watching. 17, 17. teen, teen, teen. Billy, on you. Yeah. And I hope they're all enjoying maybe coloring along. Maybe I'm on the background. I don't know. Is anyone arching along right now? Or are you the type uh, that just like puts it on and like goes about your business, like folding laundry or whatever? I can't do that. Like, I always invest my full attention to what I'm watching. But, like, a lot of people like to just have it on in the background while they're doing other stuff. Oh, my God. Like a friend in the room watching you. <laughs> yeah. Jenna says, yeah, that's not going to happen if it can be avoided. I do pick up accents <laughs> easily and not always on purpose. So, Jenna, you're going to see to come to um, England for just a couple <laughs> months. And we're going to see how long it takes. Oh, my God. We've got room. Trisha says, I don't take my eyes off the screen. Don't even blink, Trisha. Oh. Don't even blink. Neither. We need to hang out again. It's been it's been a long time. Oh, a second. 
<laughs> oh, hot second. I thought you were all, ah, second. All right, almost done with these poppies. And then we're going to bedaddle with her face a little bit. FNF Bonnie says, unfortunately, I would doodle along, but after going into temporary accommodation, my art supplies got mistakenly Ugh. put in the storage. Nightmare! Oh. Break into the storage facility <laughs> and get them back. I'm like, here's what you do. <laughs> Call a couple friends. <laughs> you got to create a diversion. Whoever's got the fastest car is the driver. <laughs> and that's all I got because I've never done anything like that. But I could see that being a movie. And breaking into your art supplies. I was going to go nuts when I didn't have mine. Like, I took what I could when we moved here, like, in my carry-on or... Yeah, I took, a, like, a bag full of art supplies in my carry-on. Then I also had some air shipped because that's the important stuff. But, oh, my God, it just feels like a lifetime when you can't create. Trisha says, yes, we do, Kimball. Yes, we do. Because it's been since I don't know when. <laughs> but that's too long, my friend. All right, let's just get the dark in here and fine. Jenna says, not arting right now, sitting outside with the dogs in a fire. Oh, nice. We don't need to explain the fire, though. We just need, just, it, just, it's with the fire. I just picture, like, the house on fire, and she's just sitting there watching with the dogs. <laughs> it's what you do. With the match in her hand. Just kidding. Oh, my God. All right, we made the flowers pop a little bit. By the way, London, gorgeous in the christmas time like when they're decorating all these buildings oh my lord and yeah. the shop windows are so cute especially at fortnum and mason they had the theme i don't even know what the theme was but they had these little <laughs> like it's cute is what it was there was like some guy and then like there's a cat and like little mice all interacting in different stages doing things so and one of them like they, he's doing a flambe or some kind of cake that lights on fire yeah and the cat's coming in with like a fire extinguisher and there, it starts off with them like, I don't know, it looks like they're catching a taxi, maybe. I can't remember because it wasn't, we didn't get a good look at it because there were some other people there too, like checking out the windows. Okay, well, this is Jenna's fire. That's not as quite as exciting as what I was picturing, but well, it's nice and cozy. No. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's cool. That's actually really cool. And that's putting out an intense flame. You're an intense flame. Er. <laughs> Hold on, looking for a yellow. Just want to add. Bit of yellow in the center. Well, okay, maybe just that one. Well, maybe that one too. Mm, I don't want to go too crazy with it. I'll just leave it like that. These are uh, Jane Davenport paint over pens, by the way. I didn't list that because I didn't know I was going to be using it. All right. Grab the, hmm, let's just do dark red. I don't want to go with like that purpley color. FNAF Bonnie says, yeah, we have to stay for three months, um, but they are delaying the building until January because of Christmas. So I'm basically losing my mind. Understandably. Sorry, FNAF you Bonnie. You shall get through this bonbon. Bonbon of breakthrough. Right. Art supply challenge. <laughs> Gotta I go am, to the dollar store and get art supplies. I am going to outline this with the Crimson Lake. Crimson Lake. PC925. And then I don't know what other colors. I might add some darker color to it. I'm not sure yet. We just got to see where this is going to take us. Yeah, actually, I'll probably add some dark, not like quite black, but, you know, just keeping in theme of the colors of the poppy. Ooh, which I could actually mix these up a little bit. Earlier today, I don't even know what we were talking about, but Kimball was talking in some accent that sounded like... Um, Money Penny. Yeah, so he was basically talking like Sean Connery. I was like, dude, you sound like Sean Connery, and he's all Henny Penny. And I was all Henny <laughs> Penny, Henny Penny. He's Listen. like, yeah, why not? And I was like, are you talking about money, Penny? He's like, who the hell's money, Penny? I was like, no, I'm talking about the little chicken sandwiches I had in elementary school. What are you talking about? <laughs> I was like, no, Kimball, it's it's not Henny Penny. It's money, Penny. He's like, I don't even know what you're saying right now. And then I was like, look it up. There was a character in James Bond. It was like the secretary to M. So yeah, he looked well. it up. And I was like, I'm sure that's why you were saying Henny Penny, thinking like in the back of your mind, money, Penny. And I was like, I've never heard of Money Penny. I didn't watch James Bond. But why would you say Henny Penny? 
in a James Bond accent. It makes no I've, sense. Well, because I've heard people be like, no, 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 like quoting him, but I never knew what they were saying, Money oh, Penny. Okay. But so I was like, well, I'm going to say Henny Penny because that's what our chicken sandwiches were called in elementary school. Um, when the live is done, by the way, we're going to take the camera off the tripod and I want to show you our intense lighting setup. Oh my God. It involves um, pushing in the shape of a bat taped over our lights to yep. get the perfect lighting ambiance. So stay tuned for that if you're really excited about DIY hacks for lighting. It's basically <laughs> just so there's no shadow. It like cuts the shadows that would be because the lights are behind me. So the shadows would be working in my work or, you know, covering my workspace. Why? Exactly. Have you used your varnish spray yet? I'm going to say by the tape on the cap that you haven't. No. Do you I, need to? Well, I'd have to do it outside. And I don't, it's been off and on rainy and cold. Have you done a piece that requires it? Yeah. Well, I have a lot of pieces that, like all my um, layer cake pieces, I want to spray. Because then I can start painting on the opposite page. On some of them anyway. Anyway, I thought of the James Bond thing because Missy Lulu was saying I was expecting a huge bonfire, but instead of bonfire, she said bond fire. And Ooh. I was like, Ooh, Bond, James Bond, Henny Penny. Yeah. Let's see. I just need to shade that other side because like the eyelash line is just weird. Let's see. A bit of that. And then, yeah, maybe I'll use this to do just to do some other dark bits here and there. FF Bonnie says the drawing could look good with some orange eyeshadow. Just an option. You don't have to do it. I might. That could be really pretty. Actually, yeah, it'd be a good way to cover up that area over there. Yeah, right? and it would make her more like the flower. Exactly. Good idea, Bon Bon. You're always coming up with good ideas. That's the cool thing about a lot of like the YouTubers we watch is they, especially the ones that have like really large following, they'll basically be showing like their day in the life. And if, especially if they're doing something like with their house or like some kind of construction thing, they get a lot of comments from people that of things Give they would never even consider. Stuff. So in a lot of ways, the evolution of what they're actually doing is informed and influenced mm -hmm. by the people watching the videos that they're making the videos for them. It's very interesting. Synergy. All right. I'm going to take this color from the edge. Jenna says eyeshadow with pastels. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> But I could have. That would have been easier and smoother than this, but it's all right. And then so on the other side, it would be this on the inside. And then it would go like to the orangey tone. Look, it's no longer a mess up. I meant to do that. But I do want the white. Make sure there's nothing on the tip. And burnish it all together. What does burnish mean? Well, technically it's like you're smudging the colors together by using friction to heat it up to blend the waxy colors together. I'm gonna do the same with her lips. Burnish, polish, especially something metal by rubbing. All right. The example is to burnish copper, I would probably use a drill with a pad attached to the end. Absolutely. Everyone, I'm color penciling, okay? This is it's very serious stuff happening right now. Still want that white to shine through all that. But... <laughs> Excuse you. Sorry, I just wanted to tap your face. All right, well, I'll remember that next time you're working. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be like in a meeting. I'll just come in like bop your head with a pencil. Everyone will be like, why? Lovely. Why is he there? They won't think that. They'll be like, Kimball! I know. Every yeah, everyone just loves Every me. time Kimball comes into one of my meetings, everyone's like, hi, Kimball! <laughs> it's like everyone take a break and say hello. I really like that. Good thinking, Bon Bon. All right. What are we doing now? What are we thinking? I've kind of packed on the colors, so it's not wanting to lay down as easily, but... I do want to have a little white highlight. Highlight? Yeah. I feel like I said something at the very beginning of this, and I was like, if I remember to do it. Did you? I have no idea. 
I'm looking around. I'm like, did I forget something? What am I forgetting? What am I doing? What's going on? Who am I? But whatevs. Just using that as shadow now. Half Naf Bonnie says, to make the artwork pop, go around the girl with a white pen or pencil to contrast from the background could help divert the eyes. <sighs> I thought about that. I always do that though. Are you trying to do something a bit different? Not really. But I do need to like fill in this white line around her. I don't have to, but I want to. Hmm. Jenna doesn't remember doesn't remember you mentioning anything. She says, did you say it yourself or in your head? You know me so well. <laughs> <laughs> We're not sure. No, I remember like, oh, I was going to do that, but I if I remember. White. Me, me, me. I don't have like a color to fit in right there. That works. All right. It's still really pink looking. Um, oh, I don't remember. I love how she has like this white streak going right through her eyebrow. Hmm. That was a bad thread job at the mall. They sneeze and they're all... Okay, I'm looking around. Did I pull out? Okay, well, I have the white paint pen here to help her stand out if I want. I could also, maybe I'll do yellow. Like a yellow line instead of white. Just to stay on theme. I'll layer that up a little bit so it shows a little more. Okay. I hope this doesn't ruin my pen. Soul marker, whatever this is. You mean by absorbing the... Yeah. Everyone be very quiet. Shh, Kimball shh, is shh. outlining Where's the poppy my... woman. The poppy woman. With a yellow paint over pen. Lots of uh, watercolor in that. Jenna gave the shush emoji. <laughs> Kim will be quiet. Shh. Can you connect that line a bit by your lips, please? Thank you. Maybe I don't want that's to. a little separation there. I think that's all anyone's ever going to look at. I'm drying it so I can like do another coat. Because the more you layer it up, the more it's going to show up. Also, yellow, I think, is one of the most uh, transparent colors. I think this is the best thing you've ever done. Thank you. It's a masterpiece. <sighs> anyway, so I, <clears throat> I'm making art for the studio, and I was thinking about, because a lot of people don't know the history of the building, I was going to make a couple, like, square, maybe, like, eight, or, like, I don't know, 20 by 20 centimeter pictures of the old airport. What was I trying to say? Oh, just to like, like maybe like a progression of what happened and then it going to the raceway and then kind of building up to the fact that it became the studio. That's all. Pick up that conversation from 10 minutes ago. <laughs> 20 minutes ago. I'll just go with whatever I can think of at the time. Mm. Nice. Healthy. FNF Bonnie says, what's everyone's favorite color? Mine is purple and green. You can't have two, Bonnie. You know, Bonnie. that's funny because those are my favorite colors when I was a kid. I had like a purple and green shirt. And I was like, this is amazing. And it was like a button up. And it was mostly green. And it had purple, like little tiny flower thingies on it. And then I wear like a purple shirt underneath it. So I'd have like an unbuttoned green shirt over it with like a purple t-shirt. I'm trying to think if I've seen this on you before or like seen pictures of it. Mm, maybe pictures definitely have not seen me wear it in person so why did your or what is your favorite color right now uh in like to see in real life is orange like a like autumn right now i'm in heaven heaven all right that's very subtle should i do another one jenna says rainbow cheater 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 I do love, like in my art, I love teal, like aquas and teals. I love pinks and yellows. Like those are almost in all my art pieces. And then I love like pops of like neons and whatnot. Let's try one more layer. I'm just like, there's still red in this. I'm like, oh, marker, I love you. Dip it in some alcohol. It's not an alcohol marker. Dip it in some peanut butter. Ew. That's gross. Mm. 
we um they have a giant so in Hyde Park in London they have a huge winter carnival that they're putting together right now and it looks massive and it's like it's so much it looks like a regular theme park and they're just in there constructing it and I was asking Kim I'm like do they literally take this down and build it every single year it, it's like so intense I'm like they should just leave it up I know you were talking you said something it reminded me of talking about something in, you said something and in it the reminded park. me yeah I don't remember Hi. Really. London. I don't know. Ferris wheel. Sure have been enjoying all those public restrooms that I got to pay 20p for. I'm like, why? There should be somebody in there handing out like paper towels if I have to pay for this. And a Biscoff. Well, I don't really like Biscoff. You don't want a toilet Biscoff? No. <laughs> what if they had like a urinal cake that smelled like Biscoff? Would you be in? Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay. I like, I like Biscoff, but like, since I've been here, it's kind of been in everything. Trisha says my favorite colors change all the time. Yeah, mine do too. What are your current faves? All right, I think that's enough. She's very elegant and thoughtful. As she should be. Day of remembrance. The online Smith Mouse says, hey, this heavily Southern accent Florida girl made it live and grabbed my pencil Ooh. to join in. Earth colors are my fave. Hey, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> and welcome. Thanks for joining. Hmm, I wonder. What part of South Florida? Fort Lauderdale, mm -hmm, Miami. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is Jesse from Fort Lauderdale? Or near there? Uh, near there, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I kind of want to just do things that like don't make sense, like add little white dots in the flower and some dots in the background. But then I don't want to because I like the way it looks now. It was weird. I was looking at some of my older artwork and I was like, I never did highlights on like cheeks or noses or anything. It was that came along over time. I don't know when. I think she might be done. Oh, I could give her a necklace. Is it just because? Well, I was like, it's just a really simple, because I'm looking at the hair strands, and I could do like a thing of just like droopy red with little red flowery looking things. Why not? Will he, won't he? We're here. Let's do it. But I want to pick the right color. Trisha says, I just had to watch Abby from Victoria Plum adverts. <laughs> and welcome back. <laughs> I have no idea what that is. Abby, Victoria. Plum. Plum. I have to look this up now. Hmm. That might be the right red. All right. So if I did a couple. Just like that. And then we can darken up the edge. So it looks like it's got a little depth. I think it's, <laughs> if I'm understanding correctly, it's like inspirational bathrooms at affordable prices. Build your dream bathroom suite. Is that because we were talking about renovating homes earlier? I don't know. Maybe. Isn't it creepy how you talk about something and there it is on your phone a couple hours later? Or like in the same live stream. Yeah, that too. And do white. Actually, I could have done a yellow. Silly Kimball. Just to help carry that orangey color around. It's subtle, but it's there. I'm not even going to draw the poppies. I like that. All right. Ah, there we have it. Well done, Kim. You know what? Thank you. You've really done it this Thank time. God. I really did do it. Let me take the camera off of its little ceiling stand. I'm using a different mug today. It's my flower mug. I mean, it's more springtime, but I thought flowers. Why not? All right. I'm doing this thing right now. Yay, yay. All right, first things first, Kimball. Get rid of the halo. And let's go to the DIY lighting solution. Is it actually going to show it? Maybe it's not. The Pusheen Bat Protector. Can you not zoom in? Or like, tap it, Rocky, tap it. I'm trying, but it's just it's so bright. Well, they're these. Anyway. Right there. Perfect. 
Pusheen bags. When I used to get the Pusheen box, which I loved, but I felt I have enough Pusheen toys, I can stop now. All right, let's see the piece, Kimball. Oh, you. Campbell. Yes, baby. Another one for the fridge. Oh, she's so pretty. I like the way this one turned out. I know. Look Finally. At you. Finally Beauty. a good one. Totally reminds me of Queen Amidala. She's very pretty. Oh, I like you. Finally a good one. All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for joining. Why don't we just turn that away? Why don't you... Oh, God. There we go. Well, what else is happening with you, Kimball? What's going on? Um, Let's know, look at Kimball's world right now. I've got a lot going on. I still, yeah, I need to use my varnish. I can clean up all of my watercolors. I'm a good, do you guys clean up when you're done right away? Or do you let it sit? My water sits for days. I think we've already talked about this. That's the one thing I don't like about acrylics and like gessos and stuff is they leave a lot of ugh in the water. But like inks and watercolors, I can go a couple of uses. Eoline says, beautiful. Trisha says, I can see the bat. Fnaf Bonnie says, Batman has come to rescue. And Andrea says, stunning. Thank you. You're talking about me, right? Yes. No, oh, thank you. You're talking about that You're right too there. Um, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I was going to use my Chervan ones. I want to go. It went next year. Oh, I was going to talk about Paris. Because we talked about we were planning our trip to Paris. We're probably going to skip it this year. It's just funny because we're like, we always want vacation every year. And I'm like. Dude, we're in England. <laughs> like, <laughs> we can have our, like, Christmas here for the first time. Like, that'll be fun. But next time I go to Paris, I'm going to get another, a different one, but another pack of watercolors because I really like these. Well, we might just go to Paris or something for, like, a weekend or something. Okay. I won't say no. Because we need to go to Chicago. Oh, them. God, if we have to go to Paris, I guess. I love Paris. It's very pretty. It's very walkable. I love, like, the cities over here are so walkable. Like, in the U.S., there are a lot of walkable cities, but, I mean, you have to, like, live in the city, and it's, like, pricey. But over here, it's, like, every village, town, and city, very walkable, very pretty. I can write poetry. No. Wow, well done, Kimball. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing this week? Uh, oh, what am I doing this week? I was going to do something. FNAF Bonnie says I clean up straight away unless it's a big artwork and I want tea mm. after the big projects. Speaking of. Very responsible of you. I wish we had some of those Scottish tea cake things. Oh my God, those are so good. I know. Can we just do those from now on? Let's just cut to the chase, Kimball. We found our favorite dessert. Let's just do that from now on. Thanks. I know, right? Just every time the snack will just be tea cakes. I'm down. Remember when I lit a candle because your, your shampoo smells so bad? Oh, also... Don't like M3 strips or whatever they are. 3M? 3M strips. Y'all have this problem? Okay, so when we were in Baltimore, our stairwell was somewhat of an art gallery, but there was a skylight above, and the sun would heat up, and two or three pieces fell off the wall. I'm assuming it's because they got too hot and just perplunked. Probably made the glue less right. adhesive. So that was my big worry here, is when summer hits, like... Since there's no AC, since I, you know, I've complained enough about it, I'm done now. Um, but I was afraid like it might get too hot and we can't nail holes in the walls here. So that's why I'm kind of like... But not... we had our coffee sign that we had hanging up above our display shelf in the dining room basically fell off and knocked one of our salt shakers that was a llama! A gift from a friend. And it broke, but so... I kept the top half of it and I stuck it in some potpourri and that's all we're going to go with. Right, but like, so now I'm just paranoid. We've also had another, we've had at least one other picture fall off the wall, but I'm like paranoid to hang anything up. So like, I feel like I'm living in a constant state of like half done decorating. Because we basically just leave all the, all the paintings. I mean, it's fine. It's, it's doable. <sighs> at least there's art up. And then this one just, you know, lives on the floor no, now. Apparently. I'll probably trade those two and take one upstairs. But if we get our own place, which we're not sure if we're just going to, because it's really nice here. So we might just end up staying here. But we do also want to like buy a house. It's weird renting again. It's very weird. Jenna says, I love 3M strips. I hang everything with them. Well, that's because you have central air control. Okay. Although I will probably use hooks because I really like we have like these deep windowsills in our front, like of the front of our house. And like we don't really have space to like put up a tree and put decor inside the home. So I was like, why don't we just do a window display? Hmm. That might be That'd be nice. So everyone that comes into the courtyard will be able to see it. That's right. But it's kind of annoying because it's like the better window to decorate is kind of behind his car. 
And then there's like the other window. So we should do an orange theme so it matches the car. No. Also, autumn's pretty much over, so let's just skip the autumnal decor and do... If you're in for an orange-themed window, let us know in the comments. Or just then Christmas. You know what the right answer is. Why wouldn't we just do Christmas? Autumn-themed Christmas. Okay, anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess... Oh, I was also going to say we're at John Lewis, which because they have, like, autumn autumnal-themed ornaments. Very gorgeous, by the way. Uh, if you've been there, is there a story behind the bears? Also, I want all of the bears. They're huge and adorable, and they're fuzzy. Okay, there's, like, that gold chrome one, which I don't want that. But, like, the fuzzy ones... I'm like, can we get some more of those? Thank you. We should get the one that's like climbing up the middle of the store on the rope and just <laughs> hang it outside like off the roof. I know. As we were there, Rocky's like, oh my God, they're like the climbing babies in Prague. <laughs> <laughs> Which I wonder where those are now because that was a movable installation. I don't know. It was intense though. All right. Trisha says decorate the car. That's too much, Trisha. <laughs> we don't own it. <laughs> it's a lease. We could decorate the interior of it. Oh, and also, okay, is this a thing? Because I was like, ooh, it'll be fun to decorate our house, which we can't decorate this one because there's actually nothing to decorate outside of our home. Um, but before we moved here, I was like, oh my God, it's gonna be so fun to like decorate a house, blah, blah, blah. But then I was like reading online that like nobody decorates their houses. They're like, leave it to the stores and big whatevers because people steal the decorations. So people just decorate the interiors of their home. Is this a thing? And House why? spiders and indoor decorations. What have we gotten ourselves into? <sighs> oh, I haven't seen a spider in a while. But I know Trisha's there was... like Andrew Point is. I don't have one. <laughs> Never do. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but I think we are done. We've we've waffled You're on done. enough. You're I done. Bash this out. Bosh this out. I don't know. I've heard it at Rocky's work. Bosh this out. Let's go Bosh. and look that up. I boshed it out. Make sure that we have. Uh, We're waffling boshed. on. Bosh. I've got bits and bobs. Meaning, okay, boshed is um, to talk. Oh, so nonsense often used interjectionally, foolish talk or activity. Boshed. Now, see, that's not how people use it at work. They said, "I need to get, I need to sit down and bosh this out." Is it because they're using a bosh drill? Well, see, I was going to say like we could bosh out some laundry, um, but they may have, maybe they just said it with a fancy accent, and maybe they said bash it out. I don't name know. Jasper. Pronounce Jasper. <laughs> Anyway, Miranda. All we're right. just waffling we're done. on. We're done. We have talked to your ear off with absolutely nonsensical things. So thank you all for joining us. Do appreciate it. Had a good time. I love the way she turned out. I hope you did too. I uh, hope you got inspired. Um, if you did, like and subscribe because that helps the channel. Out and a lot. if you didn't, know. like and subscribe. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Please, I guess. And um, yeah, we'll see you next Sunday when I do something else. Of which you have no idea. Nope. I didn't even know I was doing this until today. And I was like, oh, yeah, Poppy is help. You are so close to my face. <laughs> oh, that's Wait, good. let's get, well, let's do the whole thing where we like zoom out ready and make a face go. Oh, my God. I don't think I did that right. Well, you're not using that right. Here we go. We'll do it one more time. Ready? What do and I have to do? Do I just sit here or do I move? You make a face. Ready? And go. Oh. Uh. That was it. And okay. sign off music. All right. It's been fun. She looks like Natalie Portman from that thing where she looks like I'm a dollar. <laughs> Not at that angle. That's a weird angle. Let's see. Hey, goodbye, everybody. It's been fun. Try la la la. I don't even know if we're still on. Bye. Yeah,